macOS is great, but it's missing a lot of little things that could make our lives 10 times easier. Over the years, I've found six free and one paid app, which I install right away when I get a new Mac, because I know it's gonna boost my productivity and make my life so much easier. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sanji, I'm a second year medical student studying at the University of Melbourne, and let's get straight into these apps. The first app I have to share with you guys today is Rectangle. Now, recently I moved from my Surface to a Mac, and I realized that unlike Windows 10, there's no way for you to quickly snap your windows to the left and the right to quickly organize your workspace. And I found that that really took up a lot of my time. So if we think about how we want to resize windows in Macs, usually we drag them to the corner here. And then if I wanted to make a full screen, I would do that. And if I want to have my windows side by side, I have to hold onto this green button and then click tile window to the left. And then I click this to bring them side by side, but it's just too clunky and it takes up too much time. So Rect Rectangle is an app that allows us to manage our windows more efficiently on our desktop. So essentially, it allows us to manage windows like we do in Windows 10. So for example, if I wanted to move this Chrome window to the left, I could simply just drag it to the left and it's there. And then I could drag my Notion window to the right and everything has now snapped into place and it's really easy for me to access my windows. Rectangle is really cool because it also allows you to map shortcuts. So what I mean by that is, for example, I've set maximize to option command up. So if I click on my Notion dashboard and I click option command up, it automatically maximizes my window. And then if I want to bring it back to the right, I can just click option command right arrow key and then it's back like that. So it's super simple, but super useful. The next app is Mackie. And Mackie is essentially a clipboard manager for Mac OS. So have you ever had the problem where you copy paste something, but then you can't find the thing that you copied, you know, a day later. So that's where Mackie comes in. So let's say I just want to copy this information about the Chad's score. So all I would do is just like normal, I would copy paste it using command C. And once you command C it, it goes into your Mackie clipboard and it's here. So, um, and then let's say I also copied this information about the scores. And I also copy this picture here. All of this information is now in my Mackie clipboard. So if I wanted to make a new page and copy this information, you know, a day later, I could just call this, you know, let's say it's CAD and I wanted to copy the age, right? So then I can just command V. And then if I wanted to put the picture in as well, I can just click on that command V and it's automatically inserted into there. So essentially it's super useful just to have a list of the stuff that you've copied in the past few days. So just in case you need to access it, you can find it really easy on your Mackie clipboard. Now the next app is TickTick -Tick, and I pay $3.50 a month for it because it actually brings me so much value in terms of functionality and usefulness. TickTick -Tick is a to-do list app. But unlike other to-do list apps, it actually has calendar integration built into it. And I find that's really useful and it uses natural language processing to do so. So for example, if I were to type in upload YouTube video at 8 PM to tonight, TickTick -tick automatically recognizes the words 8 PM tonight and it adds that to the calendar. So if I then look at my calendar view, we can see that TickTick -tick has added this and it's added the date and time as well, which is really useful. So I'm someone who really likes to organize my days and I like to have aesthetically pleasing apps. So I find that TickTick -tick is the best of both worlds. So we can see here that this week, for example, I had a student conference. So I've added in tasks such as streaming the conference when I had morning sessions, as well as various workshops I've had such as suturing and chilling with chai. And today I'm planning to release a video. So it includes things such as script and research, film the video, as well as edit it. And you can organize things based on what they are. So for example, all my tutoring and teaching is in red, whereas my uni related stuff are in yellow and blue. You can also add lists of tasks that you want to do. So for example, a list that I have are study topics that I don't know about. So for example, if I wanted to learn about pericarditis, I could just drag this down here and say that, okay, between 6 and 8 p.m. on Saturday, I'm gonna try learn about pericarditis and I'll write a few notes on it. So it's really easy for me because I can then write down the things that I don't know 
and then set specific times to actually study them. Now, the last really cool thing about TickTick is that it has a habit tracker built in, and that's what you can see at the top of each of my days. So some things that I wanna to try to do every day are my morning routine, journaling, stretching, as well as things like exercise. If we click on the left, we can also see TickTick's habit tracker. So for example, I've journaled for 121 days and I journaled on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This month, I've journaled 6% of the month so far. TickTick is a really cool way to have all of these powerful features just in one single app and organize your life. And for me, it's definitely worth the money. So the next app is Spotify and Spotify is really cool because it curates new playlists for you based on your music taste and you know you can listen to these songs and find new music and you can also share songs with your friends and see what they're listening to so you can find new music that way. So because I love music it's essential for me. Now Feedly is an app that I found recently but it's really cool because it allows you to read all the blogs that you might follow in one place. So, for example, if I look at this blog called Simple Zen, I can access all of the blog posts from this one single app. So, for example, if I wanted to read about Ikigai, I can quickly have a read about that. Or, if I wanted to look at Thomas Frank's blog and read through some of the posts at, on his blog, I could just click on this and then just read through that. As simple as that. Now, the sixth app on my list is Notion. Now, if you guys have spent any time on my channel at all, you know how powerful Notion is in terms of using it to organize your life. And if you guys want to see how I use it to organize my life as a med student, you can click the cards above or you can check the link in the description below. Some of the things that I use Notion for in terms of how I organize my life are things like using a bookshelf to write down notes on the books that I read. I also use it to organize my medical school life. And I also have things like a resonance calendar where I write down things that really excite me or bring me joy. So when I'm feeling down, I can look at these things and get some inspiration or some motivation. And finally, it wouldn't be the Mac applications of a medical student if I didn't talk about Anki. So Anki is essentially a flashcard software, but it's so powerful because it utilizes space repetition to show you the cards that you don't know. So for example, if I wanted to learn about some asthma, I could just study my Anki deck. And when I click on, for example, what are the symptoms of asthma? If I found that this card was really easy, I would say that I wouldn't want to see it again for at least a day. But if this was something I was struggling with, I would probably say that, you know, let me see it again in a minute or maybe 10 minutes if I'm relatively all right with it. And that's really useful because in that way, you're studying the cards and the information that you don't know and you're ignoring the information that you do know very well already. So I hope you guys can see how useful these apps are and how you can use them to maximize the efficiency of your workflow. So that's the end of the video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.